Happy Friday, everybody. It is time again for our Fun Fact Friday. Now, our animals for this week is a pelican and a sparrow. It also mentions an owl in this verse, but we've went over an owl quite a few times. In Psalm 102, verses 6 through 7, it says, I'm like a pelican of the wilderness. I'm like an owl of the desert. I watch and, and, I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. Now, that's all the animals we're going to do this week. Next, we're going to mention some more of the women in the Bible. And then we're going to talk about trees. My mom had mentioned she would like to hear about some of the trees in the Bible, that that would be, you know, something fun for us to start doing. So we're going to start mentioning some trees every week. Okay. Our women in the Bible for this week, we're going to start off with Rachel. Now you can read about Rachel in Genesis chapters 29 and 30. She was one of the two wives married to Jacob. Jacob worked for Rachel's father, Laban, for seven years to win her. That was supposed to have been the deal anyway. But at the end of the seven years, Jacob was tricked into marrying her older sister, Leah. Now, they had mentioned, well, how was he tricked? It was probably late, and she had a veil on. I mean, there's so many ways you could say it. It's, it's hard to say. But anyway, so he ended up having to work seven more years for Rachel. And then I believe he worked more than that. I'd actually have to look into it and doing some more studying. But for Rachel and Leah, he ended up working for Lebon for 14 years. Now, the next woman we're going to talk about is Hannah. In 1 Samuel chapter 1 and 2, Hannah was one of the two women married to Echonite. Now, Hannah had no children. It said that she was barren, while his other wife, Penia, had many. Now, Hannah had prayed for a child, and God blessed her with Samuel. She promised God that if he blessed her with this child once he was weaned, she would give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and she did just that. Now, these are two of my favorite verses in Samuel. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 27 through 28, it says, For this child I prayed, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshiped the Lord there. Now, that's all our mention of women this week. Now, we'll go into the trees. The first one I want to talk about is a sycamore tree. Now, you can read about this about Zacchaeus in Luke 19. Now, when it speaks of Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus was a, ch it says he was a chief among the publicans, which meant he was a chief tax collector. It says Zacchaeus was little of stature, and so Zacchaeus was short. Now, Jesus had traveled to the town Zacchaeus lived in, so you can imagine what kind of crowd there would have been. And because Zacchaeus was short, there's no way he could have seen Jesus without climbing that sycamore tree. You know, what is even more amazing in this, you know, story about the sycamore tree and Zacchaeus is Jesus looked up and seen him and told him to come down because, you know, he's going to go home and stay with his house with him. So that was the story of, well, one of the stories of the sycamore tree. He also mentions a fig tree in Matthew chapter 24, verse 32. It says, Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. thought that was cool. And everybody should have heard about the dogwood tree. It provided the wood used to build the cross on which Jesus was crucified. This tree was once very large because its wood was strong and sturdy. It provided mil it provided building material for a variety of purposes. Because of its role in the crucifixion, God made it that this tree would never grow large again. However, the tree would produce beautiful flowers each spring. So whoever looks upon it won't forget the petals of the dogwood. You know, so whoever looked upon it wouldn't forget about the crucifixion. Now, I want to talk a little more about the petals of the dogwood. They form, it blooms, the blooms always have four petals, which kind of signify the, you know, shape of a cross. The middle of the dogwood flower has a tight grouping, which 
kind of could resemble, you know, the crown of thorns. And the tip of each petal are indented as if they bear a nail in. There are even colors in the petals that brings to mind the blood that spilled during the crucifixion. Now that is a legend of the dogwood tree. Now, like I said, I'll start mentioning more trees next week. It'll be added into our fun facts. Now, two more little fun facts I'm going to go over with you all for this week is the word Christian was first mentioned in the New Testament in Acts chapter 11, verse 26. It says, And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people, and the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. And then we're going to talk about the Ark of the Covenant. Now, the Ark of the Covenant carried three items. And these items were the Ten Commandments, the Rod of Iron, which endowed, which was endowed with miraculous power during several plagues, and manna. And when it talks about manna, manna was a food. It says, kind of compared it to wafers that had been made with honey and tasted sweet. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 4, this is exactly what it says about the Ark of the Covenant. It says, which had the golden censer and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was a golden pot that had manna, and iron's rod that budded, and the tables of the covenant. Now, this was something they had built when they were wandering the desert to carry this stuff. And this was a box, you know, to hold these things that God had touched and provided. And they just, they were of God. These were very special things that just anybody couldn't touch. I thought that was pretty amazing. Now, that is our fun facts for this week. I hope you all enjoyed them. As always, I enjoyed looking them up. It always helps me. Uh, I will be back Tuesday with our lesson. I love each and every one of you. You have a good weekend. Have a safe weekend. I will see you Tuesday.